Final speaker signed in is Eileen Lieberman. Commissioner, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Eileen Lieberman, 4809 Woodlands Boulevard. My concern in being here today is that you have information in your backup which is either inaccurate or incomplete. For example, on page three, it says there are no bike lanes in the Woodlands. There's a bike lane on Woodlands Boulevard. It goes right past my house. I don't know how you could miss that. It also states um, in your backup that 64th Avenue is shared by the cities. That is not true. And the reason I know it's not true is because in 1988, the mayor of Tamarack, Norma Bromowitz, and the mayor of Lauderhill, Eileen Lieberman, got a traffic ways amendment initiated, which moved the road into Lauderhill, except at the very top of the road where it intersects with Commercial Boulevard. That was so that Lauderhill could vacate 64th Avenue south of the entrance to Forest Lake Estates, and Syntex, who was building Forest Lake Estates and who was building Cypress Hollow, only wanted to deal with one government in building the road. And so those two things are not true, and I know that they're not true because I've experienced them personally. Um, it is undisputed that the traffic analysis prepared by the applicant did not address the impact on the local roads in the woodlands, all of which except one are one lane in each direction. That one is Sago Palm. It's two lanes, and it's about a block long. It's undisputed that it did not do a cumulative impact study, including in its traffic analysis, already approved developments in the same area, which will generate traffic on roads that are already level of service D through F, um, and, all, and they did not include from projects that are either already approved or already under construction. Um, you didn't get the minutes of the planning board. That 3-2 vote was not an overwhelming endorsement. In my backup as a planning board member was an economic study prepared by the applicant showing that the homes in the mainlands that were con um, with the golf courses were Sable Palm and Monterey, the existing homes are today selling for less than they did before they built their development. You're missing the minutes of the city commission meeting, which was also a three to two vote. One of the members who voted was the then vice mayor, Deborah Placco, who said, I don't really like what's going on here and they need to listen to the, to the people who live in the area, but I'm gonna vote yes just to let it go forward so we can get comments and so the developer could go back and meet with the neighborhood. There's not a question the developer had a lot of meetings. He may have heard some things, he surely didn't listen. Isn't this an example? You wouldn't have so many people here being so concerned if he had listened and made accommodations to the majority of the people who live in the woodlands about their concerns. Few, if any, changes were made by the developer based on what they heard. Their face to environmental says there's no burrowing owls in the woodlands. Larry Melgren has a picture on his cell phone of burrowing owls in the woodlands. Similarly, the WHOA vote was not unanimous. Not only that, after the vote, the president of the WHOA said, this doesn't bind the sections, it only binds the WHOA. Larry, if you call him back, will tell you that his section voted against it, even though they're members of the WHOA. And so, okay. if I can, um, I know you want to keep everybody three minutes. I'd That's like right. to submit the rest of my comments in writing. You absolutely because can. They didn't even consider the impact of six school buses that and, would and, now be needed in the and woodlands. Anybody and everybody can submit whatever they'd like. Thank for the you record. very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, ma'am.